Yeah, yeah, it's a nice, uh, a nice way to finish the season. Um, obviously, the season didn't bring what we'd hoped. Uh, you know, but we, it's always important, especially when you come and play in front of your home fans that we haven't played in front of for about a month. So, um, yeah, it's, it's good that they'll be able to go home with some to, some to hang on to. Yeah. I suppose the easy question for Penrith fans is where, where is that kind of attack, like particularly the attack, where is that kind of been all season? Yeah, I know, I wish, uh, wish I knew. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think today's performance probably showed that in a way that um, we probably just ran out of steam these last few weeks. I think um, you know, we've one more performance to go. You know, they did some stuff. Like in the first 20 minutes today, it was, it was nil old. I think for 20 minutes, and some of the stuff we did in that first 20 was as, as good as we've done in any game this year. So, uh, in terms of laying a foundation, so I sort of thought, um, yeah, I, you know, if we could have found that in the last few weeks, we would have done better. But I think we did run out a bit of steam, and, um, which was obviously a result of the start of the year, um, which was uh, yeah, clearly something that, <laughs> looking back on, was always going to be hard to come back from. Pressure as well. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I think you know when you you know you've only got one game left. And, um, yeah, and I, yeah, the Knights probably sort of in the end once we got ahead, kicked ahead, we kicked on. But the first twenty was pretty decent, I thought, in both teams. Um, yeah, but yeah, it was um, started badly. Uh, proud of the boys the way we you know regrouped and showed some resilience through the middle of the year. Uh, blood a lot of new guys and young guys and. They really helped our energy and, um, yeah, it sort of ran out of steam. But, you know, the wash-up is we're not happy with uh, the outcome. Um, I take full responsibility for that. Um, but, yeah, very confident about got a, you know, the plan going forward and what we need to do and uh, looking forward to getting into that. On that plan, I know mean, you know, farewell James today, but the, most of your tries were scored by players 22 years or under. Is that, is that something that you hold on to now for yeah. through 2020? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, you know, we're a, de a development club. We've um, debuted nine guys this year. Um, it's definitely a season of, you know, regeneration, I guess. So uh, we're, you know, we're just got to try and, in the, I guess, yeah, the future is to try and make sure those, you pick the young guys that are going to be the ones that uh, end up steering the ship for, for a long time to come. So, um, yeah, that's definitely a good sign there. Yeah, I thought we had, we had some really good young guys come through this year, but um, in the end, I, I don't think we played uh, as well as we could have throughout the year, and that's the result we got. I mean, obviously, we saw the short kickoff straight after the Knights scored the first try. There was a lot of early shifts. Could we see a bit more sort of like aggressive uh, attacking instructions? Is that maybe the way forward next year for you guys to get more points? Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, as I said, you know, the, the plan's very clear. It's uh, it'll be around coaching and performance, uh, leadership, and teamwork. Essentially, so um, yeah, we've got uh, Trent Barrett coming to the club. So Trent will be um, his uh, responsibility will be around attack. So that's that's exciting. I mean, Trent's obviously a very good coach. Um, he's very motivated, been out for a bit. So um, yeah, looking forward to you know, seeing what he can bring to our young team, and obviously with our young young spine members, um, he'd be a great uh, mentor for those those guys as well. Is that the best you've ever seen Nathan run the ball? Um, oh, he's always run the ball, so he just, <laughs> yeah, just got through a couple of times today. So, yeah, I, I think um, I don't think it's his running game that's holding him back, or you know, he's still learning how to ball play and slow the game down. The game's still fast for him, which is at 21 is pretty normal. So, yeah, I mean, that's where he's got to develop, and he can't speed up time. So. Pleased with your makeshift uh, left centre wing combo, Billy Burns and Jerome Luai's performance, especially in the last half an hour or so. Okay. Yeah, it's very glad I picked uh, Jerome Luai on the bench this week because uh, we lost Brent Naden. He started vomiting at like around midday today, so um, so Jerome went in for him in the first place and then he ended up on the wing. So um, yeah, Billy Burns, that was good to see. Billy's a very talented young player who's had a really good year for us in our Canterbury Cup, playing the back row. So um, that'll only help. So. Yeah, it's good to get these young guys some first-grade experience. Uh, as I said, that helps for them going into a process and feeling like they're NRL players. And, um, 
building towards next year. I know you said Nathan's still got a lot to learn, but with 34 points alone, it's a club record. I think you've broken your record as well, your, your personal record. It's a nice achievement for him. Yeah. Would have been better if it come about three months earlier. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like, yeah, I mean, it's good for him. I, you know what, he, he's tried hard all year, you know. He, he hasn't, you know, it's been a, a year that uh, he'll look back on and, you know, feel like he could play better. Um, but not unlike the rest of the team, it's a necessary part of the journey and, and, a, and a year that we'll look back on and uh, that will help us in the future. Yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah, James is, uh, you know, he's been an incredible player over a long time. Um, probably couldn't have done any more in his career. Uh, won grand finals, origin series, um, with different clubs, with different circumstances. Um, and I was lucky enough to, um, you know, I guess, get him into it a bit. I think he came to us at the Warriors when he was, he'd only played four games and starred right from the outset. He's still cheeky, exactly the same as he was back then. Um, yeah, he showed, I think he showed the boys how to be calm in certain situations and um, you know, be a winner because like, that's what he is. Thank you. Thank you.